Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'd like to show and demonstrate two NEC codes, 2020 NEC codes, which are frequently asked about by viewers. It should be great for apprentice electricians and homeowners, and excellent brush up for you pros as well. Here we have an apprentice electrician presented with a dilemma. He is participating in the Ideal National Championship 2021 where the winner is going to win 40 grand. First, I'll explain the dilemma. He's been given two rolls of blue wire, a roll of white and a roll of black wire. He hasn't been given any green wire. This is the drawing that he has been given to work from. This is the power source, which has a black hot wire, a white neutral wire, and a green ground wire. The green ground wire from the power source cord is to be securely attached to the metal box with a 1032 screw right here. This attachment is called bonding. In fact, that attachment will be crucial to the correct grounding of this system. So the apprentice competitor's dilemma is should he use this EMT conduit as the equipment grounding conductor or EGC as we call it for his system or should he add one of the other colored wires to use as the EGC? What would you do? Let's look at the 2020 NEC for guidance. Here is 2020 NEC code 250.118 types of equipment grounding conductors. And I want your attention to go right down here to number four, electrical metallic tubing. So EMT is a type of equipment grounding conductor. Notice under types of equipment grounding conductors, it says the equipment grounding conductor run with or in closing the circuit conductors shall be one or more or a combination of the following. One, a copper aluminum or copper clad aluminum conductor. This conductor shall be solid or stranded, insulated, covered or bare and in the form of a wire or a bus bar of any shape. Two, rigid metal conduit. Three, intermediate metal conduit. And four, we have the EMT as in our example. And five, listed flexible metal conduit meeting all of the following conditions. Listed liquid tight flexible metal conduit can be used as EGC sometimes. Flexible metallic tubing can be used as EGC in some cases. Armor of type AC cable can be used as EGC. The copper sheath of mineral insulated metal sheathed cable type MI can be used as an EGC. Type MC cable, which stands for metal clad, can be used as EGC in some cases. Cable trays and cable buses can also be used as EGCs when permitted. And 13 other listed electrically continuous metal raceways and listed auxiliary gutters and 14 surface metal raceways listed for grounding, they all can be used as EGCs. So it's not just a wire that can be used for an equipment grounding conductor. There are actually 14 different categories of ways to provide an EGC. Here our competitor friend has run a white and a black wire to the box, which is perfect. So now all he has to do is connect the green ground wire from the black power cord to the metal box. You screw in that 1032 screw and you connect that ground wire to the metal box and then you have an equipment grounding conductor which is the EMT itself. But what if our competitor were to take a white wire and color code it on both ends with a green marking pen or something like that? Would that work? Well, let's go to the code book and find out. Here we are at the 2020 NEC code 250.119 identification of equipment grounding conductors. Unless required elsewhere in this code, equipment grounding conductors shall be permitted to be bare, covered, or insulated. 
individually covered or insulated equipment grounding conductors shall have a continuous outer finish that is either green or green with one or more yellow stripes except as permitted in this section. So using a white wire for a ground is prohibited by NEC code 250.119. One place you might encounter conduit being used as the sole EGC in a circuit is in older homes that were wired with only hot and neutral wires in conduit but without separate ground wires. I'll put a link in my video description for the latest edition of the NEC handbook and I'll put a link for the journeyman electrician exam study guide which you can get on Amazon Audible if you like and I'll put a link for 30 days free for Amazon Audible Plus. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.